made, you know, since becoming accredited. I'm very excited about uh, having gone through the, the process. By becoming an accredited, you know, chest pain center and affiliating with St. Thomas, we've now got two outside agencies that are examining our processes that we have to be held accountable to. So not only are we, you know, held a, accountable to the community and to ourselves, but there are, you know, two other agencies that are looking at how we treat acute coronary syndrome patients. You know, I know of, uh, you know, specifically three examples that I've taken care of that, uh, you know, I, I shudder to think what would have happened had we have not adopted the principles. You know, the first was uh, a 28-year-old female. She came in, you know, having about 30 minutes of chest pain and was hyperventilating and the only past medical problem that she had experienced in the past were panic attacks. And so it's probably two or three patients a day that we see, you know, that are young females, not supposed to have heart disease, that come in hyperventilating, having chest pain, having shortness of breath. Um, that, uh, you know, this could have easily been attributed to a panic attack, but because of our protocols that we now have in place because we're an accredited chest pain center, an EKG was obtained immediately in this room, you know, by the nursing staff. And the nursing staff brought her back per our protocol, laid her down on that bed right there, got the EKG, brought it to me, and lo and behold, she had tombstones or acute ST segment elevation in her inferior leads. 28-year-old female with no cardiac risk factors. She had a dissection of her right coronary artery with a clot, and she had, a, had acutely occluded her right coronary artery and was having a heart attack at the age of 28 with no other risk factors. And, you know, she could have easily been treated with some Valium or some Xanax and sent out the door without an EKG even. You know, it was just so typical for a panic attack. Another case comes to mind now uh, in a, actually a 26-year-old female um, that was probably the, the first success story of our, of our chest pain center that, uh, that came in and she was two weeks postpartum. Uh, she had uh, delivered a healthy, you know, female two weeks earlier and uh, she came in having chest pain. Uh, no other risk factors, didn't smoke, didn't use drugs, uh, very thin, petite little girl. And, uh, you know, her EKG initially was, was negative, uh, but because of our protocols, we did pick up a troponin on her, um, and our protocols also specify that 90 minutes later, a second troponin is, is drawn. Well, her first troponin was negative, and her EKG was negative, you know, meaning that uh, to us, at least prior to becoming accredited, that, you know, it didn't look like an acute coronary event, and she probably would have been discharged. But because of our protocols, a second troponin was done 90 minutes later, and her troponin elevated. We might have discharged her had we not gotten that second troponin because we had a negative CT, negative EKG, negative troponin, but that second troponin being elevated, we admitted her and they decided to go ahead and do a heart catheter on her here. And uh, she had a circumflex artery dissection. Um, the last case that I want to tell you about is a, was a 31-year-old male that uh, was lifting sheetrock at work and uh, his only risk factor for heart disease was that he smoked. No family history, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, nothing, he just smoked. Came in, by the time he'd gotten here, he'd had about 30 minutes of chest pain, his chest pain had resolved, his EKG was normal, um, and his first troponin was normal. Because of our protocol, once again, we got that second troponin. His second troponin came back elevated at 1.2. We kept him, got the cardiologist to do a heart catheter on him. He had a 95% lesion of his left anterior descending artery. We call that the Widowmaker artery. And had we not gotten that second troponin, he would have been discharged. And I shudder to think, you know, where I would be or where he would be right now had we not done what we did, you know, because of, of the uh, uh, becoming accredited as a chest pain center.